Hello my dear students, welcome back. Today I am here with the second part of this chapter Tides and Ocean Currents. Hope all of you have seen the first part and whatever I have discussed in the first part that is the introductory part of these tides. Hope you have seen. This is the second part and see here today's topic of discussion. What topic we are going to discuss today? Types of tides, then magnitude of tides, then periods of or the times of tides and then last point is effects of tide. So first we will see what are the different type of tides are there. Tides basically two main type we can get to see one is spring tide another is nip tide. Here I have written spring tide and nip tide. So here how we will get to know by seeing the diagram. Here see this is very important diagram you have to also practice. In that spring tide, two position can be there of these three celestial bodies, sun, earth and moon. Okay. And you always have to remember they always will be in straight line. Okay. See here in the full moon that moon and in between moon and sun, earth will be there. And in new moon, the in between earth and sun, moon will be there okay now in that case first full moon understand what's happening here here moon is also uh, by the gravitational pull the water body it is attracting towards that and bulging towards that rising this word side and by the sun it is rising this word so both the side the high tide is forming and the rise of the water will be more because they are having both the side they are having gravitational pull on the other hand, the new moon, you say first that sun and moon, both they are also forcing towards the water bodies of the earth. By the gravitational pull and the centrifugal force, the high tide will be more at this side. The bulge will be more compared to that this side. So you are getting to see both the high tide, but here bulge is more. So in that spring tide, it always remember the earth sun and moon always will be in that straight line the position can be like this or position like this okay now next is nip tide which is actually not the high tide it is known as uh, we can say uh, low tide in that low tide tide is happening rising of water is there but not that much what is happening in that spring tide in that case the earth so a moon and sun it will be it will form uh, that also a quadrature also or an angle form shape you are getting to see this just forming an angle or this is known as quadrature shape here the moon is also attracting water pulling the sun also pulling the water In due to that here the water bodies is not bulging properly any side because they are pulling in different direction getting my points so here this type of is that also basically this day is known as half moon and this is called nip tide and always remember students that nip tide it come always in the seventh or eighth fortnight of that month okay seventh or eighth fortnight of the month and this kind of also tide we can get to see that once in a month okay here this kind of spring tide okay so this is the types of tide we have done practice of this diagram very that uh, essential because this kind of diagram it can ask in your exam or sometime you can say types of tide explain with the help of diagram next magnitude of the tides what is the magnitude in the last previous part i have shown that the tidal range the whatever will be the range or the height of the water so the height of the water in the time of tide it is not same or equal everywhere it can vary according to the landform sometime by the um, difference of uh, the gravitational pull of moon and sun here what kind of also magnitude we can see like uh, where the pool will be more the rise of the water will be more 
where there there is shallow water bodies so the rise of the water will be more high tide where there is open areas obviously the water will be more but where there is congested and uh, like at also in the interior part there will be low tide so the rise of the water we can't see everywhere equal it can vary okay so it's somewhere it can be 4 meter it can be 10 meter somewhere it can be 12 meter but generally we can see between a high tide and low tide the uh, tidal range it can be half meter but when the variation of land form is there pool is different there it can change next is periods or time of tides students here i will tell here with the help of diagram it is very important now students understand this concept clearly because it is very important that the periods or times of tides we all know earth rotates on its axis and it takes 24 hours but to cover two high tides in a day it takes 24 hours 52 minutes how it is coming actually i already have said the moon is not stationary it is also rotating and revolving due to that this 52 minutes extra time it is taking to form two high tide now see here this is earth and here it is moon which side of the earth it will face moon will have more bulge of the water and it is forming high tide and opposite direction also will be high tide due to the centrifugal force so here one high tide here another high tide forming but the bulge will be more here now this is the place a suppose this is the place a and this is the place b here one high tide high tide one and here high tide two okay so to cover a point to b point it is taking 12 hours 26 minute okay again why it is happening because earth rotating west to east and then again to reach at a point means a it is coming here a1 and the b it is going here b1 and the b is facing high tide here bulging more and then the a will have high tide but less bulge so it is taking 12 hour 26 minute again to reach there to the a point the same location the previous location it is taking again 12 hour 26 minute means within 20 that 4 hours 52 minutes two high tide a single that place is facing okay now whenever it is having within a day two high tide with that a place will have two nave also what is name low tide conditions now see here the earth is rotating now a when it is rotating the a place it is coming here this is low tide or name name sorry a it is coming here a then again it is coming that the high tide again it is coming d that is the c and d it is having that name uh, sorry a so c and d it is having a and a it is facing here 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 and here so a is having two high tide and two a okay so same way the c also it is rotating c is having the one a then one high tide then one a then one high tide again it is rotating means two that tides and two a will be there within 24 hours 52 minutes each location or each location okay is it clear so each location so b will do the same here b is having that high tide it is having high tide again it is facing the a and then high tide then a it means two high tide two low uh, that a or low tide means whatever the place of the world is having they will have in a day 
that to hydrate and to eat. Okay. Now, students, we have reached to the last point of this part: effects of the tiles. Here, I have written these points. See, first point: it helps to remove the debris from the seashore. You know. Due to the activity of the people or the human being, seashore of the beaches used to also it become very much also dirt, dirty there. So when the um, the tides water it reaches to the coastal area, it basically removes that kind of debris from there. Then number two, strong tidal currents help ships to enter in the shallow harbor. You know. Due to the deposition of that uh, different silt, clay, and other also things in that bed of that sea, the depth of that sea it basically it reduces. And due to that, what happens? That when the uh, ship used to also it when float over that, it strikes over that and it can uh, face any accident. And due to that, it is uh, it also um, it means stop. And it can't sail over that water. In that case, that also case of here Kolkata port. It is giving the example. This kind of shallow depth, depth also there. That's why they when the ships it used to come from foreign countries or the um, ships used to move from other countries from India. They wait for the tide. When the water will be rise, then easily they can also float over that or they can sail over that water. Okay. Next number three. In certain harbors, tidal basin are constructed to store tidal water. Like that, uh, whatever the extra or the rise up of the water, it is reaching to the coastal area, the harbor. That that time people that London it is given the example London Harbor also having this kind of basin. They made artificial harbor and where they also that store the water for further purposes. Next number four, tidal energy can be and that also harnessed. You know, tidal energy that is a non-conventional source of energy today. People are using in different parts even in India. Wherever the tidal water it is reaching to the coast, people are using and also keeping motors to generate the electricity from the air by the use of that tidal water. Okay, so here example you can see in the foreign countries, France, UK, these kind of countries are having. Even in our own country, we can see this kind of tidal energy, which is a non-conventional source of energy. People are generating. Number five, tide. The tides govern the schedule of fishermen. Yes, according to the tide, high tide and low tide, the fishermen they move for that fishing. Okay, if there will be high tide water, then it will not be possible um, then to uh, for fishing. So they wait for that low tide purpose. And there are so many other also that benefits we can get to see by the tides. It is also by the use of technology, people are trying to. Um, uh, it means utilize this tide water and uh, this tidal energy. So here, students, I have completed this part tide within those two part, first and second part. Just see the video one uh, uh, once again and uh, try to um, practice whatever diagram I have also drawn here and uh, stay with me to see more uh, or more videos and to know more knowledge about this chapter in the third part. So till then, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you.